Hey, how's it going everyone? This is a really quick video because I got a question on one of my Udemy courses regarding the SAS compiler. So the problem is as following. This will be the project. It's actually named after me, <laughs> Bootstrap Norbert. Okay, so within this folder, there are a couple of package.json, this unimportant Bootstrap and uh, Bootstrap icons. If you open Bootstrap, then we have this custom SAS. And then we have this uh, style.scss file. And basically, this is not generating a source or a distribution folder as it should do. So the, the, the solution is extremely simple, but for me to write it, it's extremely complicated. So this is why I'm making a video. So here's the problem. SAS, so for you who asked this question, does not, and thank you very much for this question, does not recognize your path. Even if you do so, actually, let's just demonstrate it. So the says file style.sss, I'm going to hit watch says. So it's watching. If I exactly as you said, try to type in h2 because in our in, in our HTML, where's our in HTML index HTML, we have this actually opened. Let's open it again, be sure. And there we go. So this is the project. We have an h2 and h1, and it doesn't matter what I would. Um, Target H2, color and red. Hit save. You can see down here, nothing is happening. I can file and save again. Nothing is happening. Nothing is compiling. No success, no error, nothing. And of course, this is frustrating. The problem is, even if you go into your manage settings, search for SAS, and actually, it's the best way to show you this. Says and I think we are in says compiler so let's edit JSON. Go up to your live says compiler setting formats and set the path. Uh, I'm using source, and this is perfect because I'm going to explain a really interesting thing to you and uh, not distribution. You know what this means? This means forward slash. This means then look in my current current working directory and I think you are using Git because you're using GitHub. This is where I downloaded your repository. Look in my working current directory, which is this, actually bootstrap Norbert, exactly this, and look for a SCSS file and then create for me a CSS file, compile that CSS file. Now, do you see here a SAS file? No, you created it within here, within bootstrap, so node modules, bootstrap, custom SAS, and so forth and so on. The problem is, it is it a relative or a absolute path? Well, SAS, the SAS compiler cannot see this. Even if you would enter your PC, then username and go down that path, it still wouldn't recognize it. Okay, so the safe path needs to be, or I would recommend, you, you could try to do this, actually go through everything and uh, you can see here example folder example folder you need to be in the same working directory so if i would take this exactly as what you have here copy and paste it outside to see what happens and ses is still watching hit save boom source file created ses <laughs> simple as that so once again the if you're working with SAS, you need to have it outside or as, as close as possible. Actually, the first directory in your working directory. You cannot include it somewhere deep down. SAS will not see it and it, the SAS compiler will not see it and will not compile because it's looking at your source, uh, not at your source, <laughs> at your working directory, which is basically this folder, okay, the open folder. Now, there's a, there is one way you can solve this. It's a pretty simple way. It's kind of a hack. So you could do, let me actually delete this and delete this. First of all, let me explain why this is so. So you saw that source file. Let me open up a React project. For example, this, this is a React project. You're creating here a cryptocurrency. You see when you install, I don't know if you work with React or not, but when you're installing a, a React app, this is what you get. You will get your source, you will get your build, you will get your public and so forth and so on. And you will get your app CSS and your CSS files within here in your source file. Now, if I would create outside here a style 
what am I doing? Style.scss. And did I just create the folder? Okay, I just created the folder. Uh, okay. Style dot not yet rename this. Why did I create the folder? No problems. So let's say style. Let's let's change it to says then. Change it to says. And within says, I'm going to create a style.scss. Okay. I'm going to hit what says and just take a look at the source distribution folder. And nothing happened. Okay, let's say h2 color red. Okay, hit save and I should get yep, there it goes. It just took a while because it generated it went through the process. Okay, so you can see it generated a so I just close it, a saldo CSS file in the source file. Basically, it's kind of set up to uh, in the newest version, it's kind of set up, kind of set up as um as for in working with frameworks because your source folder is where you'll be working in and that is why it's kind of set up to work with perfectly with react for example it's going to create your css file within the source file okay now let me show you another way a way to work around for example you want to use this construction of your directory no problem so it can what you could do is open up another instance instance <laughs> of visual studio code and just create a hack like this so windows new window and take your custom says and hmm, wait just a second i would have to change it to distribution uh no matter you could you could take your bootstrap and open it within here okay so check this out if i do this go down here and it's going to create now a source file so not a distribution file but if I would now hit save, it says watching, uh, let me just take a look. What says, and just a second. Okay, compiled successfully. Let's say H1 color, let's just change this to an H1. H1 color red. And there we go. It just generated, well, it generated a bunch of things, but it also generated your h1 color red and uh, yeah so it generated it in your in the folder that i created for source if i would go ahead and change this to let's go to live uh says compiler and if i would change my life says compilers make this a bit larger less life says compilers uh save path to this Let's hit save and go back and save this again. Compile successfully. And let's see it. There we go. It just generated a style.css in your H in your distribution folder. And now if I do a refresh here, why isn't this working? Uh index. Okay, because the path. Let, let me link this also up. You know what? I'm going to change this to no bet. Ah. <laughs> Norbert with honors save. Come on, generate it. I think I have too many things opened, huh? So not here. I could actually delete this. Uh, move the recycle bin. Yeah, delete permanently. You can see, hey, there we go. Norbert CSS was generated. If I would now go here and include with in okay there we go and post slash <clears throat> sorry about that uh dot slash noble css in the same directory and uh hey come on you should be red and it's red okay so once again if you're working with sas you need to be in the root directory you you can't even change it through through here from through cd cd and going to something else that's not the way sas works the the compiler is just an ex extension and it's always looking for your source folder okay so hope this was helpful if it was give this video a thumbs up and woo, my microphone just fell down so hope this was helpful and see you next time take care bye bye